Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jacob with Moreno's Landscaping and Lawn Maintenance out here in beautiful Central Florida. Well, guys, today we're going to be doing some plant installs and some mulching. So we got uh, we got some cappuccinos, dwarf cappuccinos we're going to be planting. We got some uh, variegated ginger we're going to be planting, uh, some canna lilies, some Lord Pelham, I think, and 30 yards of mulch. So right here at this beautiful wholesale nursery. This is a wholesale nursery out here in um, Winter Garden. It's called Lake, uh, it's called not Lake Brandon, it's called Brantley's Nurseries. It's a wholesale nursery, so. <clears throat> Got a lot more variety here. Quantities, should I say, a lot more qu quantities. But, but this nursery here goes from all down there, all the way around. All the way down to that way. So. Yeah, some mulch. I'm not getting the mulch here. I'm getting actually getting the mulch closer to the job site. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, might be doing it by myself today. Uh, it's hard to get in touch with Sparky. We could we usually take Mondays off, and Mondays are like doing extra work and stuff like that, or just doing repairs, whatever. But. So it was hard to get in touch with Sparky last night. So he's probably not, I haven't heard from him. And then I got some new guys starting uh, Tuesday. So I get what I can and whatever I can get done today, we'll get it, we'll get it done tomorrow. Because 30 yards of mulch and then also planting and then running around, picking up everything that we, that's needed. That takes some time. So that's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> well guys, I hope y'all, I'll take y'all with me. We get this stuff planted, do what we can and uh, hopefully you stay to the end all right guys all right so this is what we got we got some variegated ginger some seven gallon lord pelham who am out of breath <laughs> some dwarf tapatinas and in the back i got a couple of uh, blue pambagos so. all right so i'm at the second nursery this is habanera uh, hi, something like that habanera out here in Altamont, uh, or Altamont. So, smaller nursery, but you know, they have a variety of stuff here. And this is where I'm picking up some Canada lilies. There you go. There, Habanera, boom. All right, finally made it to the property. So this is the property that we're gonna be mulching. Y'all seen this in my vlogs. So we're gonna be mulching this. We're gonna be adding some uh, candles at the front, adding some plants by the house, just to give some more color by the entrance. <clears throat> and yeah, so we're just gonna be mulching basically everything here. We got some gravel, that won't be till Saturday. But <clears throat> it's already almost gonna be, what, 10, 30 or 11, somewhere right there. So these are the, these are the canna lilies. I picked up some red and yellow, real nice, bright colors. <clears throat> but man the so everything traffic and all that wasn't bad um there's no school a lot of businesses are closed right now because of what's going on so traffic was pretty simple pretty laid back it's kind of cloudy um man it's just you know I'm, I'm here i just got here and uh you know the driving around this morning you know i've been on the road since 7 30 this morning and this is that's just one part of the about the landscaping is trying to get all the plans getting everything for, you know ready for the job site and usually i would already had this ready but this past saturday um, we did two jobs one job we did two pallets of sod another job we did five pallets of sod and so we're, we're pretty and, and it's starting to warm up especially that saturday man it was bad but you know we got that done um and now this, so we usually, we, like I said before, we usually take Mondays off. We've been working uh, Tuesday through Fridays. And so trying to get back in the groove of working five to six days again. <clears throat> so, you know, so I'm, today I'm, I'm gonna be by myself. I'm, I'm gonna plant some plants, probably do a little bit of mulching. This so we don't have too much for tomorrow. But besides that guys, all right, let's see what we get done. All right, so I bought a, 
a two wheel wheelbarrow this uh this year i think it was this year or end of last year and i, I kind of like i always use the, the one wheel wheelbarrow or the mower but the two wheel wheelbarrow um i seen uh carl with um happy's lawn care uh rachel and carl was it the boston employee <laughs> well they always use a a, a two wheel uh, wheelbarrow and uh for watching them i started using it and i kind of like it I got the plants planted I got I, I put down two pallets of uh, mini pine bark out I got two more pallets in the truck that'd be for tomorrow because I still need I still gonna have to get about four more pallets so this is your cannon lilies your red and your yellow and the remote this side here ran out for that corner piece over there so tomorrow we still gotta mulch all this here. Got this middle section all mulched up. Just gotta blow, clean up my mess here. So all this is gonna get mulched. So here, here we have your dwarf tabachinas and your variegated ginger. And then on this side, same thing. Dwarf tapachinas and your variegated ginger. So the whole concept of this is this hedge will stay low. So it will stay low. The ginger canning grows pretty high. So I'm gonna let the ginger grow at least about as tall as that that um the sprinkler there. Um and then the tabachinas. So we have this bougainvillea here, so that's coming back. The bougainvillea is coming back, it's got a lot of new growth on there. So I'm gonna get that get that into a ball shape. So the tabachinas, I'm gonna let it grow a little taller than this hedge here. Just a little bit, probably where it covers the, probably about there, about as tall as that, around that. So it covers the, those um, light boxes there. So that'll get covered. And then same thing here. These very good gingers, they're, they're, new, they're new, they're new, newly planted. So the roots weren't that that strong with the with the ball, so that's why they're pretty small. Tabachinas though, they're they're nice and big, nice and full. So, yep. So yeah, so not bad, not a bad day. Productive. I ain't gonna say a lot. It was really productive. Spent uh, the majority of this morning um, picking up the plants and and got the plants all planted so that that's a good profit there and then got two pallets of mulch uh laid already so i'm a little ahead of the game for tomorrow and now we just gotta clean up 
and I got two pallets on the truck. So tomorrow we I could just come straight here. The guys should be with me tomorrow. So we'll get those off the truck and then I'll go get some more. While they lay that, I could go get some more because I could only put two pallets on that truck. Uh, kind of wish I didn't sell my, my open trailer because that the open trailer you know i was able to put at least four pallets on that so four on pallets on on the trailer and then two pallets on here that was what six pallets so yeah i shouldn't sell that kind of i kind of miss it <laughs> around this time i miss it so anyways guys that's that's it for today uh thank you for watching sorry we couldn't get too much of the of the installs and all that but appreciate it all right stay strong stay focused peace out Alright, so we're almost done with this property. All we gotta do is do a cleanup, blow off the driveways, sidewalks, and all that, and water the plants, and we're good. So, this property ended up taking us 54 yards. 54 yards of mulch. <laughs> So you gotta tuck all of it in. So now we're just finishing it up, just gonna do all the cleanup. <clears throat> but 54. So that's the front. And what took a lot is they have big areas like this side over on the other side the whole backyard and today i have um, one of my boys with me so that helped a lot has some young blood with me <laughs> so, uh, i'm getting too old for this So the only thing left that we have at this property is going to be rock. We're going to be putting some, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, uh, some stone. So let me see, on this side, on that side. I tell you man, motion makes a huge difference. Okay, so we got this rock here. So I'm going to take all that rock out for a, 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 a black tarp there and then put the rocks back and then we're going to do the same thing here put uh the black felt here and then do the same that same kind of rock there we're going to put it over here so this side here will be done and that's that's all we have left is that rock but come all the way around We have this big old area that we had a mulch. I think next time we do this, I'm gonna try to talk them into doing uh, gravel back here. Just straight up gravel. Because we're so, because we have so much trees and palm trees here, and then you got a lot of ferns. Um, you know, it just when we try to do the cleanups, you know, we end up raking up with that mulch anyway. So. I'm gonna see if we talk into them doing gravel next time. So and then we're gonna put that same kind of rock on over there. We're gonna do it right here also. So we're gonna prowl this rock here, rock all this. And had it before, but they ended up running doing a lot of work for the generator and for new power and stuff like that so they kind of buried everything and i'm gonna have to double check the drainage on here because there's some holes so it's so always something guys always something but that's it so yesterday I did uh, 12 yards. So yesterday we did 12 yards. Oh, I did 12 yards. And then today my son helped me out. We did the rest.
So a total of 54 yards. Not bad guys, not bad. And it's still early, but I'm tired. Then I'm gonna go home. Starting to warm up. Yeah. But anyways guys, stay strong, stay focused. Peace out.